From Mount Vernon, Georgia and Bruton Parker College, the Southern State Showcase just around the corner. John Nelson here, Nicole Morocco there, and believe it or not, it's the last show of the fall semester. I cannot believe it. This has been a great season and it's gone by so fast, but we do have one last show for you. We're going to tell you about the outgoing Commissioner Kurt Papberg and the City of Montgomery. So don't go away. The Showcase starts right now. Southern State Showcase on Sports South. The Southern State Showcase now officially underway here from Bruton Parker College in Mount Vernon, Georgia. John here, Nicole there, and our lead story this week is about someone very close to us who's leaving. Yes, unfortunately, Commissioner Kurt Papberg will be leaving the conference to move on to bigger things, but over his five years here, he's done some great things. We take a look back at the Kurt Papberg era. Ever since Kurt Papberg took over as Commissioner of the SSAC in spring of 2008, he has been making positive changes that have helped grow this conference into one of the elite in the NAIA. He played a vital role in membership expansion with the addition of Mobile, Spring Hill, Loyola, Belhaven, William Carey, Truett McConnell, and soon-to-be Martin Methodist, Blue Mountain, and Bethel. All of the additions have helped ensure the long-term viability of the conference, both academically and athletically. You know, when he took over, it was, a, it was a good league because the schools and the athletic directors did a really good job of, of you, know, you know, recruiting some good players and playing. But when he came in, he brought us all together and took us to a totally different level and put us on the national scene. And, uh, and you know, Kurt's energy and his, uh, his ideals and just his work ethic were... Uh, Far beyond any other commissioner I've ever, you know, run into. Forward thinking. He, he's always he's always got some things he's he's looking at. It, it's never let's just sit back and look what we've accomplished. I mean, you want to celebrate accomplishments, but he's always thinking ahead. And of course, to be a successful commissioner, you have to do that. I mean, you have to you have to look um, several years out into the future and anticipate things. Um, at the same time, uh, one of the things I really appreciate about Kirk for us, and I think this is true for I can't speak for the other schools that came in at the time we did, but uh, that was valuable for us because we were able to retain those rivalries with some long-standing uh, long rivalries with some schools um, and at the same time join the strength of uh, a conference with a full-time commissioner, uh, some other very strong schools. And another thing I think is critical for a commissioner um, is that every school feel like the commissioner really listens to them they're around the table. Everybody's opinion is equally valid and important, uh, regardless of whether your school's winning the Commissioner's Cup every year or not. Um, and, and I just always, always felt that with Kirk. Kurt has also helped bring 15 conference championships to neutral sites to ensure a fair and level playing ground for all competing teams. Uh, he brought all of the uh, conference tournaments to neutral sites, which before he got here we were always playing on somebody's campus. And when you're going for a an automatic bid, then that's just not fair. And uh, he's gotten the sponsorships is unbelievable. The city of Montgomery, for them to embrace what uh, they're doing with us, and then of course they've got the national uh, men's soccer tournament here, and, and the SSAC is certainly going to miss Kurt, and we, we wish him well wherever he, uh, he chooses to go, and uh, I can say nothing but positive things about him. He's one of the hardest working individuals I've ever uh, known and uh, he's he's been great for the southern states. Having these these um, off-site championships where everyone goes to a neutral site and he puts these on and mean it is truly a labor of love for him um, and now hosting the NAIA national championships so to me the growth of his conference and then hosting these events um, obviously being in athletics myself to know what the time and energy he puts in to making sure he, he wants when the student athletes and the coaches come to these events, he wants them to be perfect. Um, so, you know, just that he cares that much, I think is probably one of the things I'm most proud of him about. Another huge accomplishment under the Patberg administration was the creation of the show you are currently watching, the Southern State Showcase. It's a feature driven show that is one of the only of its kind in the country. 
We are in our third season and we're broadcasted to 10.8 million households in high definition. The show has proved to be a great platform to draw schools to the conference. You know, another thing about the southern states that really sold us um, were the marketing aspects. The opportunity for our students to be on television, to have, you know, video feeds, and for us to be available in a market really nationally um, through a web presence and uh, such a professional web presence. So um, the, the video capabilities and the marketing capabilities of the southern states made all the difference in the world to us. To be honest, it has really helped us recruiting wise. Uh, you know, we'll talk to kids that have seen the show, not just on web based, but actually seen it uh, on the television network. And, uh, you know, when we throw that piece out there that, hey, you know, we're featured on, on this show and, you know, and, and the, it's on this network and uh, kids really grabs hold to that. And uh, it, it's just been a, an awesome um I guess, a plus for us uh, in the SSAC and, you know, not many schools or conferences for that matter can uh, say that, you know, they're part of something so special. So it's, it's just been a win-win a for us. His impact to the conference goes above and beyond his written duties as commissioner. He conducts career development seminars where he travels to all of the member institutions and speaks to juniors and seniors about graduation, job placement, and career instruction. This is just one example of Kurt not only being an outstanding commissioner, but an incredible person. Having such a, a, a huge, huge uh, presence within the nation is Kurt's involvement at the national level, in addition to his involvement you know, within our league. But it's, it's been really because of his outgoing personality. He's a people guy. He, he wants to, to, to get to know everybody on that personal level. Um, you know, it, it's nothing to be able to pick up the phone and call him about an issue, about a concern, or him to call you, you know, and say, hey, we got this thing to deal with. Um, uh, you know, Kurt's a friend, you know, without question. He's, he's a friend to all of us in, in, in administration. He knows the coaches by name. He knows, uh, in many instances, you know, the players, the, the premier players, as well as those that are supporting. And, and he just is a, a stickler for detail which is one of those things that, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to miss a friend. Kurt has also developed strong relationship with the athletic directors and presidents. He has been a friend and mentor to many of them. You know, our college has had some challenges, especially through the years, and Kurt has been a friend. He's really guided me, uh, being a young athletic director coming in a few years ago, and, um, you know, he just, we just really kind of rode this path together. And, uh, as the uh, conference has grown, you know, our institution has grown, and, you know, he's been a mentor, so to speak, for me, and uh, he'll be greatly missed. And you certainly can't forget that he is an incredibly dedicated family man. Even with the stress and demands of being commissioner, he has never forgotten the thing most important to him. I think we'll miss it. I know he'll miss it. I think we'll miss it just because we um, at home get to hear about all the schools, and a lot of times if we're going somewhere on family vacation. He'll say, hey, let's stop by. I want to show you what this school looks like. Or, you know, you've been asking me about this. And, and um, so, you know, we, we kind of make detours along the way. And, um, you know, it's been incredible uh, education for me and for our sons just to, to see what other institutions are out there. So I think we'll definitely miss it and we'll kind of miss cheering those schools on. For everyone in the conference, we would like to thank Kurt for all his hard work over the past five years. So that's a small part of what Kurt Patberg has done here for the Southern States Athletic Conference. When we come back in the winter semester, we'll introduce you to the new commissioner of the SSAC. Our next stop on the showcase is Montgomery, Alabama, when we come back after this. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase, Student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Every Italian family has their own treasured recipes. And now at Carabas, we're serving up two family favorites on one plate. 
like our wood-grilled sirloin, topped with handmade marsala sauce and served alongside our signature chicken brian ravioli. Or enjoy fresh ingredients and layers of flavor, all grilled over a wood fire with our Polo Rosa Maria and chicken and voltini. Some of our best recipes are together at last, but only for a short time. So find your favorite tonight and come home to Carrabba's. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. I had a dream, a beautiful dream I couldn't believe how real it seemed Up on stage, in the field of green On the winding river, when the song you sing When I wake up, I'll see you Here in Montgomery, where dreams come true From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use, cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. Welcome back to Showcase. Moved inside to Gillis Gymnasium here at Bruton Parker College. We're moving right along to the B Block. John, what do we have up next? Well, in your story in the A Block, when we talked about Dr. Kurt Patberg and what he's been able to do here in the southern states, one of those ideas was the neutral site championship, which goes a long way when it comes to hosting and getting automatic bids for the national tournament. And it also says a lot that the SSAC can host national championships like men's soccer, and that talks about the relationship that the SSAC has with the city of Montgomery. Here's Scott Singer. In July of 2011, the Southern States Athletic Conference and the Central Alabama Sports Commission signed an agreement to bring eight conference championships to the city of Montgomery. The city then made a $14 million capital investment to ready the facilities for the events. Well, we started about two years ago with the idea of putting together a soccer complex. We had the it was old complex, but we built the two championship uh, stadium fields. But before that, we had to work with a Southern States Conference and make it a deal to do, host their uh, conference championships. Uh, Kurt, Dr. Kurt Patberg and I had worked very closely. And out of that relationship, we talked about the possibility of approaching the NAI about bringing the soccer championships here. The relationship opened the door for the Capital of Dreams to partner with the NAIA for the Men's Soccer National Tournament. First and foremost is the venue. Um, we want our national championships to be held at national championship level venues. Um, what attracted us to Montgomery obviously was the opportunity to utilize two championship level fields at one facility, uh, whether that's being using as we're, we are this week, one one day, one the other, or in the event that possibly with men's and women's soccer we could use both uh, fields for either one of those sports. Um, so the venue here really stood out to us and I think when the uh, student athletes arrived this week uh, we saw that in just how impressed they were to play in this facility. Although the event focuses on athletics, the city of Montgomery offers so much more with an overall experience which is second to none. That's right. One of the things we did when we talked about bringing here was making it more than just a, a soccer tournament, more than just a championship. We feel like the student athlete should have the opportunity to expand where they've been and what they've done. And we think our city has a lot of historical things to offer them and also a lot of uh, things that it's enjoyment for young people. What we look for uh, each and every time we go out to a host, it's, by the way it's great to hear these, these kids in the background, um, we look for are they going to be able to deliver a student athlete experience and there's some things that are qualitative, some specific things that we look for in terms of facility and uh, trying to drive attendance and putting on a great banquet and a championship character event, but then some of it is um, subjective or qualitative also. Is, you know, what are they going to be able to do to make the student athletes feel like this is a true national championship? It's a big time event and it's not just another regular season game. And Montgomery, uh, it's first year with them, they're doing a lot of great things. I think we've already created some ideas to move forward in the future and look forward to 
this championship and hopefully others. The National Soccer Tournament, as well as the Southern States Athletic Conference Championships, also have a positive financial impact for the area. Sports is a business, as you know, and our involvement of the city, we have a lot invested in it, was to bring the people into our city. We want them to visit, uh, have a great time, stay in our hotels, visit our attractions, eat in our restaurants, and go home happy. That's the whole idea, and we hope they spend all the money they got. Next up for Montgomery will be the SSAC Men's and Women's Basketball Tournaments in March of 2013. Reporting for the Southern States Showcase from Montgomery, Alabama, I'm Scott Singer. Thank you, Scott. It's great to see what the capital of dreams in the Southern States Athletic Conference can do as partners. That's it for the B. When we come back for the C Block, we'll let you know what else is going on here at Bruton Parker College as we return to Montgomery County when the Southern State Showcase returns after this. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org. Every Italian family has their own treasured recipes. And now at Carabas, we're serving up two family favorites on one plate. Like our wood-grilled sirloin, topped with handmade marsala sauce and served alongside our signature chicken brine ravioli. Or enjoy fresh ingredients and layers of flavor, all grilled over a wood fire with our Polo Rosa Maria and chicken and voltini. Some of our best recipes are together at last, but only for a short time. So find your favorite tonight and come home to Carabas. How do students decide which college or university to attend? Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. I had a dream, a beautiful dream I couldn't believe how real it seems Up on stage, in a field of green On the winding river, on a song you'll sing When I wake up, I'll see you Here in Montgomery, where dreams come true From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's light structure green sports lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use, cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. Welcome back to the showcase here at Broughton Parker College on Jones Lake in the Braddock Gazebo. John Nelson, Nicole Maraca, we already told you a lot about what's going on around the conference. John, what do we have up next? It's time to tell you what's going on around campus. Nicole and I have been kind of catching an eye on the fish who are looking to be fed since it is about lunchtime. We've showed you a little bit about what's going on here in Montgomery County, so let's catch you up on what else is going on here at Bruton Parker. The goals of Bruton Parker College are simple, to develop the whole student through a biblically centered truth and do it through the Baptist distinctives, the basic tenets that drive the teachings and theology surrounding the church, and it covers every subject and aspect of the learning process. That means that, that God is active in, the, in, the, in history, in mathematics. You say, how in the world can God be active in mathematics? Well, very simply, if you do math right, it's truth, and the very, the very nature of God is truth. And even when it comes to the faculty that are influencing students every day, there are certain elements of life that are watched. Faith and learning are valued immensely, and they are integrated into the daily lessons, what is learned, and the aspirations of those on campus as they learn and after they leave. Faculty and the coaches is where it all happens. If, it, if it's not happening in the classroom or on the athletic field, it's not happening. And so the whole process of faculty and coach acquisition and, and the hiring process. Built into the application process uh, is, is a, a statement of faith and what they believe and how they would apply their faith in the classroom or on the, or on the playing field. And so before 
anybody comes on campus uh, to, to uh, interview, we already know somewhat what this person looks like in, in, in his or her heart. The liberal arts lessons are grounded in the Christian traditions as well, and Dr. Simino knows that for Bruton Parker, the classes, degrees, and lessons are just as involved and intertwined. Liberal arts education goes way back, centuries back. And uh, I think of liberal arts as a liberating art, not necessarily because the term liberal now has so many connotations to it. So our education is built on a, on a broad spectrum of knowledge. We want, we want our students to come away with, with an understanding of, of, uh, of the language, of science, of math, of faith, of, of how to live with their bodies. Uh, community service is, is a big part of what we try to do. So that all wraps into the whole student. He also knows that there are two aspects of life that any baron can learn, embrace, and keep with them after they graduate. The ideas of tolerance and setting an example for others, whether they're around the person immediately or influenced over time. Lifestyle is a very important issue today. And so if, they, they, if a faculty member is doing something in the classroom and the lifestyle doesn't mirror what they're doing in the classroom, I think, I think there's an issue with that. And we want to try to press that, impress that on our students also. They're in, a formative, in their formative years, and so uh, for them to look up to uh, their coaches and their faculty members and administration, we need to provide that opportunity for them to see uh, role models uh, in, in faith and in, in life, everyday life. Athletically, the fall was a success for the growing Bruton Parker Athletics program, and Director of Athletics Sheila Simmons has a lot to be proud of and build from to move forward, and not just on the fields of play. Academically, uh, we did really well, um, especially in volleyball and cross country and track, and as far as athletically, um, uh, volleyball finished up really strong, uh, but our really high, a good highlight for us was our cross country uh, qualifier. We had a national qualifier. Um, who uh, actually um, uh, was placed on the uh, uh, all SSAC, SSAC team, and uh, she did really well. And uh, it was good for us in our first year having a cross-country team to actually have a national qualifier. So that was a tremendous accomplishment. So we're, we're really extremely proud of that. But as we all look forward, Bruton Parker is no different and has their own set of goals to strive toward in the next little while. Once again, it's not all about wins and losses, but just as much about academic successes. I want us to be a level three institution. That's a, that's a graduate program. I want us to be offering graduate degrees in education and theology and, uh, and, and, and some other areas, business. Uh, I want us to, to, to maybe even have football. I know that football is a big expense and we've been, we've been talking about this, but it's, it's difficult to imagine a school, especially in South Georgia, that doesn't have football. And with so many of our students involved in the athletic program, I think it's a logical extension of, of the direction we're going. So I'd like to see our sports, I would like to see us uh, in national competitions for, for uh, number one slots, number two slots in all of our sports. But I'm more proud of our champions of character than I am of us winning a World Series. So Nicole, it's going to be an interesting couple of years here at Bruton Parker. A lot of things planned, and I think while we're in break, I'm going to go try and find some bait or some bread for our boys down there. Yeah, they do look a little hungry. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this block. Don't go away. We still have a lot to tell you about. The showcase continues after this. From Little League to the Big Leagues, Musco specializes in sports lighting around the world. Musco's Light Structure Green Sports Lighting cuts operating costs in half with less energy use, cuts spill light by half, provides guaranteed constant light levels, and includes a 25-year warranty. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting. We make it happen. How do students decide which college or university to attend? 
Of course it's based on your reputation, but their first impression of your campus is so important. How do you make that first impression count? By making sure every detail is attended to, with manicured grounds, immaculate maintained buildings, and a welcoming feeling throughout campus. National Management Resources Corporation provides exceptional facilities management services. We make sure that first impression is picture perfect. I had a dream beautiful dream I couldn't believe how real it seems up on stage in the field of green on the winding river when the song you'll sing when I wake up I'll see you here in Montgomery where dreams come true Every Italian family has their own treasured recipes. And now at Carabas, we're serving up two family favorites on one plate. Like our wood-grilled sirloin, topped with handmade marsala sauce and served alongside our signature chicken brian ravioli. Or enjoy fresh ingredients and layers of flavor, all grilled over a wood fire with our Polo Rosa Maria and chicken and voltini. Some of our best recipes are together at last, but only for a short time. So find your favorite tonight and come home to Carabas. Welcome back. One last round here from Bruton Parker College in front of the Saliba Chapel here in Mount Vernon, Georgia. One housekeeping thing before we go. We want to welcome the three new members of the Southern States Athletic Conference coming to us from the Trans-South Conference, Bethel, Blue Mountain, and Martin Methodist. It's going to be some new road trips for us, and we'll let you know about them and their presence in the SSAC when we come back for the winter. Yes, we will. All right, that's going to do it for this semester, but make sure you come back in late January to see us in the showcase.